Welcome to the panel shows Hear the Music. I am here with husband and wife duo in their studio, Catherine and Chiminda. They are both cat cha. Welcome to oh, the panel show. Oh, are you, Michael? Hello. How are you going? <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled to be talking to you guys right now. Because I know you. how amazing you are. Or, or you both are. And I want the world to know how amazing you are. So let me start off by asking oh. you, tell mm -hmm. us about your music. I'll start with you, Kat. Our music. Yeah. Our music is different. We mm. actually don't... Um, we don't put ourselves in a genre because we just write what we feel from the heart. Mm. And that's what we do. So we could have a song that sounds a bit poppy. We could have a song that sounds a bit spiritual. Mm. We could have a song that sounds a bit calypso, calypso, would you say? Yeah, calypso. And, yeah. and, and the thing is, so we just really classify ourselves as world music. World music. If anyone was to ask us, yeah. Chiminda, do you agree with that? World music. 100% <laughs> man. Yeah. Look, when Kat and I got together, you know, obviously she's born and bred. Australia. Mm. I was born in Sri Lanka. You know, collaboration, different cultures. Mm. You know, all that impacts mm. what we do in our music, because we take this for real, right? This is this is our thing. Mm. So, in terms of um, what genre? Yeah. Yes, I would go with cat. It is world music, because you're looking at you know, Rashiva, which is universal healing, mm. No Ordinary Day, which is kind of like a soca calypso kind of song mm -hmm. you know then you get let me love you which can be in a film mm. uh which has that has asian melody instruments and you know an edge shooting drum beats it's all this mm. time man um so it's you're very hard to categorize us man yeah. and we get this question we get this question often well i have to com commend you guys mm. on uh, i mean cats the the vocal driven behind behind Catcher is the that might, yeah, I always a, a, the amazing. Star. You have such a <laughs> such a such a voice, a unique voice. Aren't you sweet? Uh, absolutely amazing. <laughs> I mean, sweet. you also do also vocal coaching as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we have a teaching studio, mm. so yeah, vocal coaching is part of that. And that's all we're here today, right now, at Catcher right Live Studio. studio. <laughs> that's what it's called. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And how long have you singing for? I've been singing ever since I was really young, but actual proper lessons and mm. things um, since I was 19. Okay. Yeah. And I actually went more inward when I was a teenager. So mm. I used to be louder when I was a kid and really confident. And then when I was a teenager, I just kind of, sometimes mm. teenagers do, they go a little bit in, they've got to come back out again. So mm. I had to find the confidence, hence why I went started going to the lessons at the age mm. of 19. And uh, I want to ask you, mm. since you're husband and wife duo, mm -hmm. how did you guys Meet. Oh, that's a story. <laughs> yeah, that's a story. I'll, I'll, start, story. I'll start from the top. <laughs> so I was playing. I was playing in a couple of bands, and one of the bands I was playing with required me to sing and play drums because it looked it looked good. You know, at that time there was not much drum, drummers and singers, right? So the guy, D Man, love him like a brother. He told me, "Hey man, why don't you get some local lessons to see? You know, to, you might get some pointers. You know." Um, I was like, yeah, man, let's, I'll do that. So anyway, I found this uh, studio near where I used to live back then in Meadowbank, and it was in West Ride. So I thought, cool, you know, it's one, five minutes, you know, from where I live. Um, long story short, found this number, called her from my work, because at that time I was working a full-time job. Yeah. This lovely voice, and I had this <laughs> lovely voice, man, on the phone going, Hello, this is Catherine speaking. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah I was, want some singing lessons. Anyway, man, went to the studio, sat down. She opened the door, and there she was, those blue eyes just <laughs> looking at me. And I'm sitting here going, my God, she's going to teach me singing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, the, the same day, I called my dad. At that time, that was Skype. Um, and my, my dad's first question was, after I said, you know, singing lessons are really good. I learned so much and I'm going to go every week because mm -hmm. I'm really serious about doing music full time. Mm -hmm. And he's always encouraged me, my dad. He said, go get your degree and after that, do whatever you want. All right. He's like, yeah, good, good, very good. And then he asked me, is this singing teacher a girl or a boy? <laughs> I'm like, why? I just want to know. Is it a girl or a boy? I said, it's a girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that was it. Oh, wow. And that was it. Because I was used to playing in bands, man, like mm. big sounding mm. bands, I wasn't used to playing as a duo, yeah. right? And 
cat here, we went to Collaroy. I think Collaroy Beach Club. Because she, she said Surf Rock Hotel, back, hotel back, back, back then. then. Um, she said you need to get used to playing as a duo because you need to hear your voice. Because when you're playing with a band, man, it's like this big sound coming yeah. out. So you need to appreciate what you're seeing. So I took some bongos. She took a guitar and we did this set at this open mic just for me to know what, we, what it was like playing as a duo, man. Mm. That was it, man. Mm. And I found this whole different sound that we could create. Mm. Mm. Plus, at that time, you know, venues weren't hiring bands as, as much. It was all duos or, or trios right. that they could afford. Mm. And, uh, okay, yeah. and that's how it all started, man, you know. Um, I didn't have any intention of finding a partner. Mm. It just happened like that. <laughs> it's just the universe, man, you know. And to be honest with you, yeah, our yeah. first gig we ever did together was supporting Steve Balby. Oh, man, yep. So he was originally from Noiseworks. And it's amazing, that's it. And, yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. And um, I remember our first rehearsal we did together for that was inside. Little another, little, another little one-room studio we created inside the house. Mm. And we had this Laney amp, which I plugged my microphone which into. Was Coming out, with we some went and terrible bo- sound. We went and bought some bongos. So we had bongos, and I had my acoustic guitar, and that was the that's where we started. And then it turned into it it. this Amazing. eventually. Well, you, you you can I ask you? You guys have performed 152 shows last year. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. As a duo, absolutely yep. amazing. As a trio, yep. And as a band, exactly. How do you get so many gigs? And do you love performing? I'll ask you, Cat first. Love performing. Yep. It's a release. Yep. I mean, we we teach. Um, three days out of the week. Yep. Uh, then we're recording other people. Uh, we're also, you know, booking acts as well. So for us, it's it's a release mm. when you're performing. Like mm. writing our own songs as well, it's a release. Mm. So, mm. you know, you're feeling. Absolutely. And that's what I feel it's mm. all about is a feeling. You're trying to reach people mm. with mm. what you are either writing, whether you're writing a song or if you're singing someone else's song and it's a cover, yep. then you're actually trying to reach people mm. Through music, mm, absolutely. Yeah. Man, live playing live for me mm. is everything. Mm. That's where it starts. Mm. You know, you want to be a producer, mm. you want to be a booking agent, mm. you want to be a manager. Yeah, you gotta play live. Mm. You gotta mm. know what it's like, man. You can't just be them, right? So, I was been I've been playing live since I was professionally since I was sixteen, right? That was thanks to my mentor, right? And that's a bug, man. That's like a drug. Once you're in that, you, you, either you, it's your choice, but that feel, I don't know, it's, it's that feeling that mm. playing live, it doesn't matter who your audience is. I mean, we pledged, like last year, the 150 shows we did last year, right? That was with the two of us, plus either, you know, Bob or James Ryan or with Chris, Lauren. We, we have a band as well, right? So it was all that together and playing covers and originals. Sometimes, man, you would get a hun- hundreds of people. Sometimes you would just get two. But it doesn't matter. It's you're playing live, and that feeling that the feeling you have playing live is like a drug. Mm. I don't think I'll ever give that up. There's no way, man. Well, I'm gonna ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer mm-hmm. performing live, mm-hmm. or do you prefer doing the whole producing the song and in the studio? If you had to choose one or the other, man, or you can't hard. compare, it's very hard. It is two different feelings, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. See. Performing live, as I said, is a release. It's like, you know, there are some people who want to go to the gym every day yep. and work out for two hours. Yep. So, so our gym is performing live, but we do that like four times a week, mm. right? At three hours or four hours every time, right? Recording other artists gives us the, the opportunity to use the skills we've learned or we've built ourselves in helping these artists grow their song. So it's two different feels. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, this too. Like if it, we're it, recording, if we're recording our own songs as well. Yeah. It's different how you would perform them live to how you would record mm. them because right. we, when we're doing it, you know, we don't want to use the whole backing track mm. thing when you're trying to perform live. So there's two different feels and two different two different vibes mm. that you would you would do. Yeah. But it, then again, if you if you recorded it and didn't perform it live, then really who's going to know you kind of thing unless you're promoting it on social media but at least if you're out there performing it mm. then people are getting to know who you are so it'd be both but if you'd have mm. to choose then <laughs> i guess performing it 
Yeah. That's how you're really going to reach people. And you can see the reaction that you're you know? getting from, yeah. the, you know, from the audience. It, it, it balances, man. Yeah. It, it balances. It's, it's yeah. a really hard question, Michael. Yeah, I know it is. You know, <laughs> I, I love to ask that question. I just yeah. thought... I, I know some, some yeah. artists prefer just to record. Yeah. Some yeah. prefer to play live. Yeah. yeah. But because we're so yeah. addicted yeah, yeah. to this industry yeah. and we love it so much, it's just, yeah. you know... Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. hard, man. It's just a balancing yeah. act, man. Yeah. And I have to say, because you guys produce, you mentor other artists as well, and you, you act, also act as an agent. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, do. that's why I asked you that question, because you guys do so much more than just, you know, perform. Mate, for example, that's last Saturday, we were playing ourselves, but we were also having two other bands yeah. at, at venues performing. And we also had two mentors yeah. doing their first gig as well. So all these emotions are going through your head. But the thing too yeah. is about the whole agency thing and how that came up was um, we know how hard it is Absolutely. to get in there. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we were taking like $150 gigs in the beginning. Yeah, we, yeah. Were. we were. Because yeah. you've got to start somewhere. You can't yeah. just expect to just climb to the top. You know, you've got to get out there and, and, and do what everyone else who's already out there been doing, doing. So... Yeah. Basically, we thought, oh, well, we seem to be getting double booked now. So let's tell these people we're not going to let them down. We can get somebody else to come and do their thing. And, and we'll make sure that, you know, they're, they're good and that they're you know, on time and they're punctual and all the things that you would go by to be booked to work for your clients. So, you know, it's, it's great that we're able to do that. But also it's great because we're able to help people because we know how hard it was to get a foot in the door. As a man. Mm. And it's giving those people mm. the opportunity. You just hope they respect it and appreciate that. Yeah, I have to say, there's a lot of people that go on to the, the, those reality TV shows. They're kind of like, yeah. you know, they're on the platform. And that's it. And then they're kind of like, they need some guidance and mentoring. So what did you? What did you do after that? Exactly. So it's amazing that what you guys are doing. Man, yeah. it's like this. It's like your roots in any industry you work with. Yeah. Right. I mean, no one's gonna knock on the door and say, "Hey, Michael. Yeah. Here's a job for you." <laughs> For the whole year, yeah. we're going to pay you X amount. They're not going to do that. Mm. Right? It, that's not how it works. Yeah, yeah. You've got to build yourself up. So it's all for us, even with the studio, with, with the booking agency, with mentoring, yeah. you know, it's all about roots. Yeah. If you've got strong roots in your um, industry, mm. so if you fall down and you reach the top mm. and you fall down for some reason, you know what it's like to be there. So you know how to work yourself back up. Now, if you've been given an opportunity right at the start, and it's, you're right right up there, yeah. and if you fall down, where do you go? You have no idea, right? Mm. Mm. At least you you know your roots. Your roots are really strong. So if you fall down, you know what to do. Yeah. Well, my next question was to ask, to ask you about your passions for music. I mean, or, yeah, right, I mean... Can you go first, please? Uh, lady, yeah. la oh, man, 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 first, man. Let, let's go to Minda first. Yeah, let's go first. Passions <laughs> for music. Oh, man, it's, it's everything, man. It's yeah. life. I mean, I personally work 16 to 17 hours a day, right? Mm. And that's from the time I get up, have my coffee, mm. you know, kiss a good morning. I'm on my phone, man, emails or, or working on social media or just thinking about the work we have to do. Mm. That's passion, man. That's all you need, right? Mm. Um, just love every bit of it. No matter how tired you are with this game, you just want to do your best with everything, with every job, whether it's big or small, mm. okay? You may come in for a session. We may get booked to do an hour's gig. doesn't matter. We want to do it right. So that, that passion comes out. Ah, passion's for man. That's, mm. a, that's, that's my theory behind it. I just love it so mm. much, man. I'm addicted to it, man. Okay, can I ask you, since you're sitting with yeah. your beautiful wife next yeah. to you, yeah. how important is she to, 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 the, yeah, to the music and the Working passion? with me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes feel she might divorce me, man. <laughs> well, that's what I feel now, because I'm, I'm, I think I'm not hard to work with, but yeah. he's more, he's more intense than what I am. I'm very intense. I'm pretty okay. much probably more chilled, yeah. laid back, and yeah, yeah sort Easy of folding. Gun, yeah. Whereas he's like, I'm very intense. I'm, he's got, know, he's got the mind and uh, yeah. as well as the heart. See? Yeah, yeah. His emotions. He's as well, driven. Maybe. He's yeah. very driven. He's okay. very driven. I'm driven because I don't want to go back to where I was. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you're when you're when you're a teenager, man, when you come to this country, yeah. right, from another country, and you you're doing what you have to do to be able to, you know, um, 
survive in this country and then in the back of your mind you've got your passion which is music which is me i re- you know you want to do whatever you can to get into that right because you don't want to do this other job you want to do music right and we may come across a lot of people who are like that they want to break into music but they can't okay so every opportunity that comes I- i'm going to take it seriously man it doesn't it doesn't matter what client it is it doesn't matter where we're playing we may be playing at on the street busking maybe a busking gig doesn't matter if it's booked it's booked we're playing there we take it seriously that's how i am because i don't want to go back to that that's my motivation um because it's very hard in this industry man yeah but you do go back every now and again because you guys are so big in sri lanka <laughs> you well, are we'll love it there man yeah they've accepted see there was no plan with sri lanka just because i'm sri lankan it doesn't yeah, yeah. mean yeah doesn't mean every Sri Lankan musician gets an opportunity to be on, be on radio. It was not that. It was yeah. it was uh, it wasn't planned either. It was it just happened mm-hmm. that way. It was from Rashiba, um, our friend Nisho, uh, who I used to um, you know we went to school with. He just remixed the track, just as as a fun thing, man. You know, and that's when it all blew up. Yeah. You know, Rashiba, the No Ordinary Day, and that. Especially in the yeah. ordinary day, because at I the know. time that yeah. that I got just, released, can was... I just say that is my anthem? By the way, I have to say yeah. that, that is my anthem that I took over to. That I heard that song. That's how we connected. That's but yeah. that is an amazing single, mm. and it, it deserves all the success it has. And I just wanted to say thank you for such an amazing song. No, man. Thank, thank you. you. Continue on. It was, <laughs> it was thanks to 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 Kat's Nana because she was having a bad day, and just mm. we got inspired by that. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's amazing that I get inspired by the things of. Around you, mm. yeah, because she was yeah. having a bad day. She just and no matter what we were trying to do and cheer her up, it just wasn't happening. Yeah, so I just grabbed the guitar, went and laid on the bed, and started playing those chords and mm. humming this melody. And, mm. and I said, "Hun, come here." And he came in, and I said, "What do you think of this? This is <laughs> no ordinary <laughs> day." And he's like, "Cool, <laughs> hang on a minute." And then what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just happened. So yeah. It just happened like that, right. you know? Yeah. But that time that came out in Sri Lanka, I was, I was just mentioning before, was um, they had the floods there. It yeah. was really bad. Okay. And they were playing that on the radio and it was cheering people up and then they were requesting it because they were like, you mm. know, this is like picking us up and making us happy. Mm. So, and it's yeah. a sec for me as well. So. They, even made, it, they even made it a ringtone. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a ringtone yeah. there. So people can call their, um, whoever they're with, provider. their provider, mm. and they pay an X amount of do- uh, rupees a month, and it's their ringtone. So if I'm calling you and you're in Sri Lanka yeah. and you have that ringtone, I can hear no order day coming out. Oh wow! It's amazing. Amazing. They just yeah, well, I need that ringtone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That ringtone. It's amazing, man. It's yeah. the amazing opportunity they get. They've given us yeah. and, and the exposure, and yeah. you know, and all the publicity there, like mm. TV and radio yeah. and, and everything, man. So and very also, I, yeah, but also I think too, I I'm blessed how they welcomed me as well. Yeah, I'm yeah. not born and bred Sri Lankan, and yeah, you know, I might be married to child, but still, yeah, they yeah. how they embrace me, yeah. I'll be forever thankful. For that. Yeah, and and can I no ordinary day? How long was that in the charts for? Because I know it was break some know, records, was some some I don't know, thirty six weeks or something. Yes, yeah, I think it was thirty six. Amazing, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, yeah. thank, thank you. you. That's awesome. Thank you. And uh, Kat, can I ask you why? You, what's your passion for music? Just my simple p- question. <laughs> my passion for music. Yeah. Okay. What. What I'm passionate about with that and, and what's driving me with that more than anything, I always say if, is if you reach one, it's better than none. That's what keeps me passionate about music. Mm. It doesn't matter how many people you reach. If you're mm. reaching one, it might be one at a time, yeah. you know, it's better than none. And I want to ask the same question. How important is Tremenda to the, to the music and the creative process? And, uh, Huge. Yeah. yeah. Because when we first met, mm. I was just playing, um, you know, rhythm guitar by myself and singing. And then when we came together, I feel my whole guitar playing, my my rhythm, everything just enhanced because I had the man who had the beats behind it. Yeah. And I feel mm. like, I don't know what he thinks, but I feel like I've, I've become um, a better musician, player, yeah. and songwriter for that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I have to say, you guys together work amazing. And I was, I've, I've been blessed enough, and everyone now on the panel show, that I've seen these guys perform and enough catch up, catch them, catch up. <laughs> they perform everywhere. Just um, mm-hmm. look out for the guys and so forth. But they were amazing, and you can see it in their face and their, in their music. It's just beautiful to watch. Just Thanks, wanted to Michael. say that. Thanks, man. Thank you. And also, can you uh, tell me? I'll start with you, Kat. Yeah. Your passions outside of music. My passions outside yeah. of music. I'm, hmm. I'm intrigued. 
We're all intrigued. <laughs> my passion outside of music? Yes. For me, is my family. Which consists, it's true, which it's consists of this gentleman right next to me, Jeez. my husband, my father, yeah. and my grandmother. Can we just mention the grandmother? <laughs> Nana, I've met her, she's over 100. She's 101, turning 102 this year. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. 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 She actually, um, she used to sing to me a lot when I was a little kid. Mm. Yeah, we used to sing songs. She actually used to sing herself and dance. And she always told me growing up, keep singing, Kath, because if you keep singing, you'll go through life happy. Mm. I said, okay, Nana. So, you know, growing up, yeah, um, my dad brought us, up, us kids up from a certain age as a single father. And, you know, I didn't want to go to him and say, you know, I want to take singing lessons, I want guitar, blah, blah, blah. So I waited till I finished school so I could pay my own way. And what happened was my nan was encouraging me, my dad was encouraging me, and I went and had a lesson. I did. I was very, I was very shy, as I told you. I was very inward instead of outward. So mm. it took me a while to kind of, you know, get back up there with my confidence. Yeah. But I pushed myself. I made myself do this, do that, go to open mics, perform, perform, perform until I stopped shaking one day and I haven't looked back. And what helped me do that was I had an American backpacker at this venue I was playing at down at Collaroy. And he came up to me and said, what was that song you sang, the second song you sang in your first set? So I told him, and he said, that really connected. I'm missing home right now, and that really got me. Thank you. And he gave me a big hug and said, when you get a CD, can you give it to me? And gave him his email. Mm, oh, that's yeah. so sweet. And then I thought, wow, that's not, you know, friends. That's not my dad. That's not my nan telling me mm. I'm good. And you sometimes think, oh, they're a bit biased. That was a stranger. Mm. And when that's when I thought, oh, I've reached one person tonight. If I reach one, it's better than none. Mm. I've, that's always stuck in my head since that day. Well, can I say, your, your uncle, you're very, very, very good. Oh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Too kind. That's amazing. And I have to say, I have to mention to the panel chat, your nana always, still to this day, comes to your gigs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course, yeah, man. She, she's, yeah, amazing. So I can yeah, see very the much. resemblance she's in the family and the heart. It's beautiful. Yeah. She Mate, she was partying with us. <laughs> She was partying with partying. us on New Year's <laughs> Eve. We were, we were playing at Padstow Bowling Club. Yes. And we went to bed on the 1st of Jan at about 5 in the morning. Nan as well. Yeah. Chiminda, myself, really? my dad, my nan. We went to make, we did a Macca's run on the <laughs> way <laughs> home. <laughs> we, had a, we had a crazy, that gig was, went off. Yeah. Right? We had a really awesome gig and packed up and, you know, it was one. Oh, wow, two o'clock in the morning, I think it was when we packed down, and then yeah, the Mac was run, and then just amazing life. And I want to ask you, thank you so much for sharing that on the panel show. No, I want to ask course. you, yeah, what's your passion outside of music? Man, I've got, I've got a lot of passions, <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Number one being family, you know, okay. um, talk to my mom and dad every day, yeah, you know, I'm seeing what they're doing, trying to help them as much as I can because you know, they're all there, I'm over here. And having my father-in-law helping my wife with with Nan, you know, the best way I can, you know, whether it's hands-on, whether it's financially, I love helping people, not just them, but I also love helping people I'm close with. You know, if they're ever stuck or if they're ever in need of something, I don't know, man. It's just that in me that to help. But I've also got gotten um, what's the word uh, by helping people. Also got what's the word bitten bitten. As well, wow. there's so many people, man, who try to help, you know, that unloyalty, that all that, you know. Um, so I'm very careful now with who I help as well because I don't want to experience that. But yeah, so helping family, helping close friends, as I said, our circles are very small and we tend to keep it like that. Um, I love sport, love watching cricket. Um, he does. Lankins. Love watching cricket, Sri Lankans, man. They no matter how many games we lose. <laughs> Lately. <laughs> Lately. Uh, you still have that belief, you know, um, that food, love cooking. Yes. Love to cook for, for everyone mm. when I do have time. He can, actually ma he can actually can make, make something out of nothing. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, mm. that's actually thanks to my uncle who showed, showed me, you know. But, uh, but I just love cooking, man. It's another creative outlet, I think. Mm. Um, just people in general. I think just just talking and knowing their story that's that's a passion you got man. Well, I have to say to with your with your style, yeah. I love your style. So you can you can, you can put on a, a, 
<laughs> a facial hair. You've got so many styles it's and the right look. Now. It's missing. It's missing right now. Yeah. This is a, a panel <laughs> exclusive. This is a new look. This is, this is Chiminda. This is, this is a new, this is a new look. look. I'll tell you why. Yeah, but he's had all the looks. Oh, yes. Uh, and it suits you. Massive beard. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, cut it. Yeah, that's yeah. That's another story. Mm. These both look amazing, uh, amazing uh, to watch. As I said, live, and Thank you, you. look the part. Your vocal is just melts me. Your your production and music and your your melts me too. So I just that's wanted to say that from a personal uh, perspective. Thank you. Um, um, is there anywhere where people can uh, keep it? A little bit. Anyway, people can stay in touch with everything of you guys course. do. Yeah, so go to our website, catchermusic.com, catch up with a K. Yeah. You can Facebook us, catcher, uh, Instagram, at catcher music. All the links are on there. All the yeah. links are all linked together. Um, yeah. Well, can I just sort of also mention that I have been blessed and grateful to hear your new single, which is really in demo form. It is. It's not even there yet. Can we, yeah, can we just kind of mention that quickly, that uh, sure. new, your new music? It's just an idea <laughs> that we've printed together. It's Nothing's even yeah. done yet with it. Yeah. Um, Actually, the way that started was I, I was lying in bed. He was asleep. Yeah. And then these lyrics started coming to me, so I hopped up, walked to the kitchen, wrote them down, and then we pulled them out, remember? Yeah. yeah. We started this melody and stuff one one night, ages after writing lyrics. I was like, hang on a minute, I've got these lyrics. Cool, hang on a minute. So I went and grabbed them and we changed. Bam. Yeah. Amazing. And that's it's what still, happens for us. It just it. It, we don't sit there and write for the you know, write um like it just if it comes, it just comes. Yeah. And I always say that when those moments happen, it's coming through you. Yeah. It's coming from somewhere. Makes it easier. <laughs> and mm. for artists out there, yeah. oh yeah, others. just to let you know, please. You're wasting time doing albums and it is singles all the way through. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You can argue with me and Kat. Yeah. Do your research. Yeah. It's all singles now. And for those uh, aspiring artists out there, one more last question. What would you say to them? As to Play live. Oh, sorry. Stop whinging. <laughs> Play live. Get every bit of work you can get, whether it's playing for free as well, so you can get your name out there. And your journey will continue. Trust us on that. And I would say, that was good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and I would say that do what you love, love what you do, and you'll go a long way. Well, you're so excited. We have an exclusive here on the panel show, <laughs> Catcher Medley. Please take it away. Everything's going to be all right. 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 Everything's gonna be alright today Here's a good day Don't let it get you down
you so much. That was amazing, amazing, amazing. Thanks, I, I was just so into that. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for joining us on the panel show, Catch Your Music. Thank you, the panel thank show. Thank you. And uh, we want thank to say uh, thank you for having us in your studio today as well, filming this. So God bless. Take care, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.